Uh, now, sir, we come to a very interesting part and very fun-filled part of uh, this this uh, discussion. And this is called the rapid fire round. And I'm I will be throwing questions at you, and you will not have time to think. So I just want your spontaneous reaction on these uh, on these questions on a very very slight informal shorter note. And uh, so so here goes, sir. Yeah. Right. Please. The rapid fire question starts now. So, uh, if you were to name one book which has had the most impact on your on your style of working or leadership, what book would that be? I will say the J.R.D. Tata's uh, "Beyond the Blue Mountain" is the autobiography I I had read. So that book has really made me, you know, that uh, that impact. Thanks. Now that you tell me, I I'll try to lay my hands on that book as soon as possible. Also, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is the motto or phrase that you live by in your life? Motto. I can't say motto means what exactly. Anything, any, any phrase that any line that inspires you, any motto of your life that inspires you to, to be what you are. I feel one should be very simple, but you know, one should deliver so that I can say. Simple simplicity with the with the commitment for the delivery. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. One thing people might be surprised to know about you. Yes. What Achha, can, one thing? One thing. Any one thing that people will be surprised to know about you. <laughs> I I like history more. History people do not know that. Oh, history. I mean, in what sense, sir? You like reading. Uh, reading, 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 reading history books, right? History okay, books. okay. I know number of, uh, you know, history of the uh, Shivaji Maharaj, Peshwa, all, all Indian history, I guess. Indian say. history, okay, that's great. That's great, sir. I, I, with the kind of work that you do, you must be keeping twenty four seven busy all the time. And how do you unwind after a long busy day or a week? What is your pastime? How do you how do you unwind yourself? I go to home and I I simply see the you know television or the picture and that picture is South Indian picture. <laughs> and those were really good at times. I mean, I can't uh, stop watching them myself. Yes, that really break my my thought process and I become uh, one of the character of those pictures. So that's how. Okay, I like the, the South Indian picture. Sir, in leadership, and this is my next question to you, uh, what do you think are one of the basic, most important characteristics to become a successful leader? I think uh, one should really, uh, you know, motivate the people rather than, you know, the today's leadership now, because of the education, people do not want typical type of a leadership, very dictator's type of a leadership. People. <clears throat> want leadership which will give the result mm -hmm. and we have to give that leverage or that freedom which will allow them to give the results final result so that type of a leadership uh, people need so i believe in that type of leadership educated people are to be handled with the most you know respect they are to be motivated they are to be really taken to that uh, level by you know by trusting upon them by by taking by giving them all the liberties and whatnot I can see. Right. Because that way that organization will last longer. That will create good culture. Right. So my next question to you is, sir, that in your journey, uh, you've been a mentor to many, but I'm sure you must have had your own share of having your own mentors. Uh during your journey, what is uh, one of the, if I if you were to say any one piece of advice that you've always remembered and the best advice that you've received from someone? <clears throat> My uncle had told me, you know, long back, once I joined the MIT in, in 1990, he had only said he worked for 12 hours, you know, 12 years without any complaint in that field. Then only you will get some recognition recognition or acknowledgement so that was a was a really good advice otherwise people are very very impatient nowadays yeah you know even after uh, working for one year or two three years they feel every day their leader should appreciate him 
you know this is not the correct way every day we cannot appreciate finally the words will finish i cannot appreciate everyone with the the with the magical words every you know every day so one should really work for you know at least for one you know the uh, the batch of the 12 years in marathi we can say one tap ek ek tap jala manto na mujhe 12 12 saal tak aapko kaam karna padega तभी आपको दुनिया जानती है अरे भाई ये बंदा इस फील्ड में काम कर रहा है और इसको कुछ एक्नोलेज करते हैं इफ यू रियली नीड एक्नोलेजमेंट फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी यू हैव टू रियली वर्क फॉर एटलीस्ट ट्वेल्व इयर्स इन दैट फील्ड देन ओनली यू विल गेट सम समेज दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन यूअर क्वालिटी ऑफ यूअर लीडरशिप यूअर टैलेंट यूअर हार्डवर्क यूअर यूअर इनोवेशन सो दैट इज अनो दैट इज अ डिफरेंट पार्ट राइट दैट एडवाइस आई थिंक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट right sir uh, you are a man of many skills many talents huge traits and uh, what is there any skill that you are trying to sharpen any skill you are trying to build up on i try to build up uh, you know technology enabled i myself wanted to learn the technology a number of time but still i could not get the time in the, for that you know, technology so i try, i really lag in that sometimes i feel i should be able to do that yeah i think one of the one of the things that you know the students of mit can help you on that <laughs> <laughs> sure. sure. sir i wanted to ask you uh, again a personal uh, when is the time you get really angry i generally do not get angry so easily but i get angry you know if the same thing is uh, done number of times and if if that is really hurting the the sentiments of the people then i get angry okay and if when you and when you colleague, get yeah if some colleague even after telling him you know repeated times do not do this do not do this and he he does the same thing and the people are hurt because of that then the people will feel, they they will naturally feel because i am i being the leader of that you know that person i am not advising him or i am not you know not telling him like that so i really get angry upon that right some things are very bad where i go uh, yeah we cannot do the you know compromise about honesty about morality where if, if somebody goes wrong then that is not you know tolerable at all right and and on the other side when do you get really emotional oh emotional <laughs> emotional maybe and apart from watching uh, south indian movies <laughs> <laughs> emotional uh, yeah emotional uh, once get emotional if we are really in you know, organization if if the if the things happen to the level and you know if if something is you know anticipated or expected and if we get that result finally then you get emotional are finally it happened so that's how i can say so then i get emotional right sir uh, very again uh, something very very uh, uh, naughty question and that is uh, you know if god gives you uh, a chance to be born again next next in your next birth but not as a human being so mm-hmm. what what would you be like like to born as acha not as a human being not as a human being oh oh i never thought of this question <laughs> just just something just something out of your mind i will prefer to i like horse very much horse or in fact uh, in fact uh, let me give you sir uh, this question uh, we we play with a lot of people and many many people have said horse oh, maybe great. maybe because of the strength that it carries or maybe the the kind of uh, the power yeah so okay uh, if there is one movie which is made about you then who would you want to play you yourself in that movie means you mean means, to say the, means the if i make a movie yes if i make a movie on you on your life then who will be the casting for you actor 
who do you think should cast you? I can't, I can't say all of <laughs> that. But, but yes. we'll need somebody very solid and very good. Perhaps uh, uh, maybe the younger version of Anupam Kher or something like that. I yeah, think. something like that. <laughs> okay. Sir, if you had to name a ship, what, would, what name would you give to the ship? Ship. If you make a ship and you have to name the ship... What name would you choose to give to the ship? <clears throat> ship name, I can say. Mangesh is, all, is also name of the, you know, the, the ship. Mangesh is, you know, some name is like. A... Yes, uh, Mangesh, I, I will give. Also. MT Mangesh or MV Mangesh. Yeah, In fact, that's a good name. And sir, lastly, I would like to, you know, ask you something which is uh, very important and then when, when the cadets are passing out, trainees are passing out and going into the actual world, what advice do you want to give them? What do you say when they go out after finishing the training at your institute? They should not forget the, you know, the, the basic Indianness, you know, Indian culture. Uh, no, that is very important. So they should not forget the root about our country, our people, from maybe from village area. So that is the basic important. Our own identity. So that is my important. They should not follow others because they should have the pride in our own identity as an you know Indian. So that is that will be my advice to them. If they lose the identity, they will be nothing. I can say. That's that's very very that's very thought provoking, sir. What you said, and uh, a lot of people try to emulate others. A lot of people try to, of course, that's it's good in one way. Inspiration is good, but this what yeah, you once just... they emulate it, they will forget all the history of the you know our country, our people, the culture, history, literature, everything. They will lose, so they should not forget that Indian Indianness, which includes everything. So that is my meaning. Sir, uh, firstly, thank you so much for spending time with me. And uh, I'm sure this this is adding going to add a lot of value to, to the people who are going to list, listen to this discussion. I will, uh, you know, I convey my heartfelt congratulations to MIT, ADT University and Manit also. And the wonderful faculty that you lead. And I have personally, uh, like I said, in, engaged with the faculty and the, and the management and I can see a lot of leadership has gone into this and, and there's a lot of future and a lot of vision that goes into the planning of MIT. And I will give all my best wishes to you, sir, and uh, for, for, the, for the growth of MIT and Manit so that it reaches not only in other parts of India. And I'm sure that this is going to reach internationally and become internationally famous and people from all around the world talk about MIT and put their, put their children to, to your institute, sir. Okay, thank you, Shaukaji. I also really enjoyed the interview because you really made me to think and answer it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye.